Kuba for Lars's 18th birthday debut. It's time for last week's episode 89. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So at the moment, I'm on a little train delay here at Danforth GO Station, all geared up and ready to go to tonight's Blue Jays game. But before proceeding, let's wrap up what I did a little bit earlier. So after catching an extra inning Jays game last night, I was a little bit hungry and checked my McDonald's app. Ordering, what do you have it? A $1 Big Mac. So I treated myself out to that baby as a midnight snack before calling it a night. As well, for lunch today, the wife and I had a great idea to try to catch up with my parents over some Korean barbecue. And after having our first Korean barbecue experience for the first time in several months, the parents had taken us to a local Filipino restaurant in the Scarborough area, the great Remelis on Shepherd, to have some old fashioned shaved ice Filipino dessert called Halo Halo. Remelis is not homemade, it's Remelis. We're saying Halo Halo Nika. Halo <laughs> Halo Nika. And after chilling for a bit and having the wife drop me off at the Scarborough GO station before her night shift, like I said before, I'm here at the Danforth GO station awaiting for this train delay to be over so we can make our way to the Blue Jays game. Where, if you guys haven't heard, one of my favorite Blue Jays who pitched for us when we had those classic playoff runs in the 2010s, Marcus Stroman is making his first ever return to Toronto where tonight he's pitching for the Chicago Cubs. But yeah, while we await this delay to be over, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends who's a big Celtic fan. And whenever playing with him, would refer to me as Nakamura. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Chris. Happy birthday, Kelly. We also got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends who, when we were younger, would always bother me to play Sega Genesis with him. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Daryl. Happy birthday, Daryl. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So after a 30 minute GO train delay, we have finally found ourselves at the Dome. So let's get in and catch up on what's happening with the Jays game. Day. Cheers! Yeah! Oh, what a play! So, after catching a great game with my co-worker Allison, watching the Blue Jays come back from behind with a Tay Oscar 3-run home run in the middle of the game, Guess who I ran into on my way back to Union Station after the game? 
Jason. Yo, what's up, Jason? Yo, happy belated birthday, man. Thanks, man. Cheers. <laughs> but yeah, Jason, it was great running into you earlier tonight. And I'm hoping to catch up with you again sometime in the near future. So, starting off for today, I got some bad news and some good news. Recalling from last week when I had some issues uploading some of my videos to the Instagram platform, when I refreshed the page to see if my video actually uploaded, this is what happened. Yo, what the heck Instagram? Where's my video? After more than 20 minutes trying to upload it? Where's my video? Today, while trying to upload my brother-in-law's wedding reception video, trying to upload a cover photo for the Instagram post but not being able to do so, then once again clicking the share button, waiting several minutes for it to upload, and the pop-up saying that my post has actually been shared, I went to my Instagram homepage, and what do you know? The Instagram post still wasn't uploaded. I mean, what the heck, Instagram? And once again, after several tries of trying to upload this video to Instagram's platform, I had to unfortunately just settle for uploading an Instagram photo, which unfortunately won't allow my Instagram followers to check out my Instagram video. And even with all the hard work, time, and effort put into making this video, the result on Instagram is just a simple Instagram photo post. But anyways, off to some better news. While watching several replays on Sportsnet of the Blue Jays game from last night, on this seventh inning at bat where Vladimir Guerrero and the Blue Jays were up 4-3, to three, guess who was able to pause the game and locate where he was standing out in the 500 outfield section. Anyways, continuing on with the good vibes, before I go in for my first of my two night shifts scheduled for me tonight, I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my classmates from university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Charmaine. Happy birthday, Charmaine. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. First of all, I want to wish everybody out there a happy September. Welcome to our new month. Today, post night shift, I noticed that the mini was feeling a little bit hungry. So this morning, I decided for the first time since I got back from my vacation, as well as comparing it to the gas prices of how it was in the previous months, I decided to treat out the mini to an all-you-can-eat buffet for breakfast. But anyways, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I made when I went on a Blue Mountain trip spontaneously in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stefan. Happy birthday, Steph. And for my second birthday greeting of the day, I have a birthday shout out to one of our family friends, who I'm remembering was one of the young little ones back when I used to have family gatherings at Car Luke. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Christine Joy. Happy birthday, Christine Joy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today for you guys, I got a little bit of bad news and some good news. So let's start off with the bad news. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my sunglasses, these exact ones that I'm holding in my hand right now, that I've been wearing for several Live From Last Week episodes in the past, while driving the Mini today, I noticed a little bit of a crack at the bottom of the glasses, signifying that they are now broken. As well as yesterday before my night shift, one of my favorite co-workers was letting us know that it was her last day at work yesterday. Marlene, it's her last day today. <laughs> um, I just want to thank you for coming out and helping out the, the unit. Yeah. Uh, it was great working with you as a student. Yes. Starting your first IV site <laughs> yeah. and blood work. Yeah. And uh, best of luck to you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Any words? Oh man, um, sign up your group in screens. That's it, that's my advice. Please, <laughs> All right. come back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Marlene, best of luck in the future. Don't be a stranger, okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> but yeah Marlene, it was great orienting you while you were a student as a positive influence. And you being an amazing energetic co-worker who also helped teach me some German along the way. But yeah Marlene, it was great working with you and I'm wishing you nothing but the best of luck in the future. And now, on to some good news. 
where yesterday, also featuring on previous episodes of Live From Last Week, before my night shift, I was able to find and park at a ground level parking spot. I also saw that comparing from scenes from other previous Live From Last Week episodes, the glass in the parking garage door that I saw that once was broken, after all these weeks, boom, it's finally fixed. I had also moved on from my previous razor that I disposed of before I went to Bali and found a new razor to shave and keep my face nice and baby face. And another thing about today is that I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins of whom I'm remembering is one of the best Ninja Hunter Bear competitors that we've ever seen in the Flip Olympics. This birthday greeting goes out to you Tote. Happy birthday Tote. I'm hoping that you are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And speaking of birthdays, we are back here in Oshawa at the original site almost 17 years ago where I once had my high school prom. Shout out to my people at HT! Here at the Tosca Banquet and Conference Center to actually celebrate the 18th birthday slash debut of my cousin, Eliza De Los Santos. So after a fun time last night at my cousin Eliza's debut and having my nephew check out my broken sunglasses, you're like Spider-Man. Here, let me. I don't know. Let's see. Just close your eye. Okay, it's good, right? <laughs> as well as see an impersonator of Tito Eddie. Earlier today, we were at Thompson Park to meet the real Chuck Norris live in person, the one and only Chuck Norris yes. with the hat. Yeah. For the first time since the pandemic started, to check out the Circulo Longo summertime picnic. And now, after having our fill of Filipino food for the first time in over three years, I'm here at the exhibition grounds with Andrew and my sister Nika to check out the Canadian National Exhibition, the good old CNE. There you have it guys. Judging by that music video, our annual trip to the CNE was a great success.
And I don't know if you can tell by last night, I made the spontaneous purchase at the CNE by buying this high visibility jacket for the purpose of the sister being able to see me in all the crowded places there at the CNE. And after meeting the wife up on the GO train back home, I tried to get her reaction of her first impression of seeing me in this high visibility jacket. But I was lucky that she was still on a high from watching one of her K-pop concerts at the Scotiabank Arena that she had no time to criticize me making my spontaneous purchase. Oh well, yeah, special shout outs here to my Munninghead and Munning Maraby, who I thought of while I was at the c &E, while we were checking out the vegetable competition there, who I believe with their green beans in their backyard garden, that looked just as amazing, if not better than these vegetables, and enter them in their own competitions. As well as throwing back to this scene from a previous live from last week episode, at one of the c &E vendors, I saw a chopping board that looked just like this masterpiece. Check it out, Spaceball the Chopping Board. Anyways, it's time to get up out of bed, get on with my busy weekend, to meet up with the family and go out to yet another Asian restaurant for lunch. <laughs> So, after an amazing time at All You Can Eat Gyubi, where we had lunch as a family to celebrate my sister's early birthday, we made our way to the local Midland and Finch area to grab some dessert, aka some bubble tea. And while we were there, we were actually able to check out a couple of our fortunes. Which one? Hey, Read it. There's always someone for everybody. Keep searching. <laughs> and afterwards, walking around the plaza, going from shop to shop to shop, aka bubble tea hopping, we wound up at this claw arcade with their soft opening called Claw Me Baby. And after saying bye to the family, we're off to go for a couple of hour road trip to visit the brother-in-law's new place and to have dinner with the Saga family all the way in London. I'm sorry to say guys, but we are nowhere near London. After a two and a half hour drive, we are finally here in London. Yeah, family stuff. Yeah, 
Oh, 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 oh,